Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, this is another Marvel Spider-Man No Way Home video. Today, we actually yesterday we finally freaking got it. It was November 16th. We finally got the second trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, that trailer link will be in the description below if you want to go check that out, uh, rewatch it, or watch it for the first time, or what have you. Uh, I'm pretty sure Echo Killshot's gonna make a reaction at the time. I'm filming this on the 16th at like 10:30 at night because I'm waiting for. Uh, Modern Warfare to freaking update. Take me eight hours, but uh, anyway, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Look, uh, I want to address two things: one, the trailer itself, and two, uh, you know, in my title, No Toby, No Andrew. So, uh, by the way, you're gonna be probably seeing some Lego Marvel gameplay, so enjoy that uh, in the background. So, uh, regarding No Way Home, the trailer. Look, it was a pretty effing cool trailer. You know, I mean, we got to see Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. You know, Tom Holland Spider-Man. Uh, you know, we got to see kind of Zendaya's character, the MJ stuff, Jacob's character, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, how, you know, Peter is kind of juggling this, this life of basically on the run after getting framed for murder by Mysterio. Um, and we kind of see that ramification kind of really F him up in the process. And then, you know, Peter goes to Doctor Strange, and then Doctor Strange does the spell thing. We, we've seen the trailer. But it's in that where you really see, uh, you know, the, the Tobey Maguire and the Andrew Garfield franchise uh, villains, where you're like, dude, you know, this is cool, we've got Green Goblin, uh, we've got, uh, Electro, we've got freaking Sandman, we've got, uh, the Lizard, we've got so many, of these, you know, Dr. Octopus, we've got so many of these awesome villains, you know, now look, I'm not a fan of the Raimi trilogy, I've seen them, uh, I don't like them personally, yeah, that's my opinion, if you like them, that's freaking great, but I just don't like them, um, I think they're really cheesy, uh, the acting's pretty piss poor. Tobey Maguire, the only the only thing I remember Tobey Maguire doing in all three of those movies, besides yelling like an idiot and being emo, is crying his face off. That's it. He just whimpers, he cries. He's basically a big baby. Um, Andrew Garfield, he cries too. Like, right? Let's let's be honest. He's a crier. But I do think that Andrew is a better actor. Those films did have better writing. I'm not a huge fan of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but it is a watchable film. Uh, but again, that's just my views. But uh, seeing these villains from, you know, those, those two franchises kind of, you know, into the larger MCU with Peter Parker, Tom Holland, that's effing cool, man. That is insane. Seeing Green Goblin and all these guys, you know, Electro, uh, you know, in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, he's Jamie Foxx, but he's not just a black dude with powers. You know, he's, you know, he's the blue black dude, if you want to say. You know what I mean? Like, he, he turns blue with the electric power, and in this, he's just... Jamie Foxx, you know, there's no blue crap on him, he's just simply straight up Jamie Foxx with some yellow crap on him, so which is, you know, cool, Sandman looks the same, Green Goblin looks the same, uh, you know, Lizard, from the one or two shots we have of him, look pretty badass, you know, he's just kind of the Lizard, what do you want to do, uh, but it is literally the same people from the Sam Raimi and the Mark Webb films, uh, just, you know, kind of brought into the, you know, MCU by Disney, and I think that's really freaking cool, you know, they're not changing anything, they're just straight up those characters, uh, and Dr. Octopus even says it, he's like, you're not Peter Parker, you know what I mean, like, who the fudge are you, you know what I mean, you're not, you're not Toby, you know, and he's not, he doesn't say Toby, but, you know, he's not Toby's Peter, he's Tom Holland's Peter, and that's really interesting to see, uh, so the trailer, you know, CGI looks a little better than the first trailer, it looks really solid there, uh, you know, some of the, you know, some of the MCU quips and jokes can be a little bit, uh, tiresome, I think, uh, sometimes the MCU MCU tries to be too funny, and that kind of falls on its face. Uh, Ninjago can do that. You know, sometimes in Ninjago will have a joke, and it's just not effing funny uh, because Ninjago very much is a very serious show. And, uh, you know, the MCU, to, in its most part, you know, it's action drama. Comedy is kind of second for most of the films. And when they try to kind of push that, you know, whatever. Uh, the whole Scooby-Doo this crap, and please, scooby whatever. I, it's okay. I wasn't like, ha, ha, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't laughing my ass off, but it, it was just like, okay. You know, I smirked, whatever. Uh, so the humor, you know, it's a bit hit and miss, but other than that, it's all right. Uh, the trailer itself is really good. I think it looks pretty freaking cool. December 17th, can't get, cannot get here soon enough, man. Seeing, you know, the, the Sam Raimi and the Mark Webb characters in the MCU is pretty cool, and I can't wait to see how that plays out. Now, going into the second part of the video regarding No Toby, No Andrew, right? This is a huge topic because you see, you know, for so, the, the longest F in time, man, people were like, oh, well, we're getting Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield villains, so that obviously means we're getting Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, right? It makes sense. We got the animated Into the Spider-Verse film. We're going to be getting a Spider-Verse in live action. Look, the rumors are, you know, up the wazoo. The leaks are insane. Corridor crew freaking covered it. You know, it's everyone and their grandma knows that, apparently, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in this freaking movie. Now, look, I just want to be blunt and tell you, you know, tell you frank and tell you straight up. Uh, not not the name Frank, the the vocab term Frank, that 
There is zero confirmation. Zero confirmation that Toby and Andrew are in this movie. Nothing. There's nothing confirmed. There's a lot of really good leaks. There's a lot of really good rumors. There's a lot of good hearsay, right? There's a lot of crazy stuff like that online. But there is no confirmation of these people, Toby and Andrew, being in this film. And that's what I want to address because they were not in the first trailer and they were not in this newest trailer. So that either means two things. One, Marvel is smart and they want to save their quote-unquote Avengers Assemble cap, get a Mjolnir big-ass moment for the film. Or... The second option, they're straight up not in this film. Uh, now, look, you know, I don't want to be the, the negative Nancy and say, oh, they're not in the movie, because, again, we don't know. They might be, they might not be. We have no idea. Uh, the whole Internet seems to be convinced, you know, <laughs> quite frankly, very much convinced that they are in this film, right? Oh, Toby and Andrew, they're in this. They're, they're, they have to be. They're in it. It's confirmed. It's not, but it is, you know. It's all this hearsay. And it, we're kind of barreling into the Star Wars sequel trilogy era where, you know, people go, oh, well, Supreme Leader Snoke is obviously Mace Windu, or, oh, Snoke's Jar Jar Binks, or, you know, Snoke's my dog, or Ray's a Skywalker, Ray's a Palpatine, Ray's a Kenobi, you know, Finn's white, actually, you know, Han Solo's actually Indiana Jones, Leia is, it, it goes on and on, you know, and then when Snoke turned out to be a nobody and basically a clone of Palpatine, and when Ray turned out to be a Palpatine, right, Finn was a Jedi, a Force user, I love it. Look, I love everything about the sequels, right? All Star Wars is good. That's thing. I love the sequels to death. They're my favorite set of films ever made, period. And there's nothing wrong with them in my opinion. But, you know, a lot of people were banking on, you know, Snoke being blank or Ray being blank or Finn doing blank or whatever. And when it doesn't ha and when it didn't happen, people flipped their shit metaphorically and physically, I'm assuming, like a monkey, and they started going ape crap. You know, they started freaking the fudge out, man. Now, fake fans are completely different than just being disappointed, right? The Star Wars Skywalker saga, the Star Wars franchise, and I'm assuming Marvel, every franchise has fake and real fans. But I'm not trying to talk about that. I'm trying to talk about the fact that, you know, expectations were so high for the sequels, and people had their own little, you know, oh, this is going to happen, and this is going to happen. You know, X is going to happen, and when it doesn't, People get mad, and I don't want that to happen to Spider-Man No Way Home because you have so many people convinced that Toby and Andrew are in this. And you know, my luck, this is going to be a look. Because look, the MCU has never made a bad film. Incredible Hulk, Captain Marvel, Black Widow, uh, Eternals—they're not bad. They're just a little more forgettable than say Endgame or Infinity War or Homecoming or you know whatever. Um, but the MCU, in my eyes, they've not made a bad film yet. The MCU is practically a pitch-perfect franchise, much like Star Wars. And I think that, uh, you know, we get to the point where maybe far, uh, No Way Home is really good, right? Like, I'll give No Way Home an A+. Let's just say. I probably won't, but, you know, w w we'll see. You know, franchise fanatic. I give No Way Home an A+. But then, you know, I could turn around and go, oh, well, Toby and Andrew weren't in it, so it's getting, it's getting an F. You know, that's what could happen. It's just like the sequels. It's it's like freaking history repeating itself, you know? It's like, what is it, the Mandela effect or the butterfly effect, something like that, some weird crap like that. It's it's just that point where people are so dead set on the fact that these two actors are in this film. And lo and behold, again, I don't want this to happen, but let's, again, magically say they're actually not, and <laughs> Andrew's not, you know, lying. He's just, you know, because Andrew's like, oh, I'm not in the movie. It's Photoshop, or I'm not in the movie. Andrew is literally either the best effing actor in the world, or he's just straight up telling the truth and no one's believing him. And if, if you know, <laughs> Andrew must feel like complete crap right now if he actually is telling the truth. But if he's not, and, you know, he really is in this, along with Toby, then, you know, problem solved, we're all good. But if they're not, you know, that could easily turn into a big, you know, poop storm on the internet. You know, people are going to lose their freaking minds. It's going to turn into World War Three. you know, because, again... I uh, keep repeating myself, but you, me, we're, you know, I'm expecting them to be in it because the villains are in it, right? It only makes sense. They have to be, right? Leaks and rumors. But that's my only thought. You know, I am scared, really, because this is probably the most hyped movie maybe ever. You know, I mean, this is up there with, like, Endgame and stuff like that. You know, I mean, people are freaking excited about this movie. Purely, a lot of people are purely excited for this film because of the possibility of Andrew and Toby. And, you know, again... Sadly, what if they're not in it, you know? Are people going to say, okay, well, you know, I guess we were wrong. It's still a great film. Or are they going to go, you know, F Marvel, F this, F that, you know, this sucks, this is terrible, kill yourself. I don't know, you know. I think the internet being the internet, they're probably going to have a freaking hissy fit uh, because they do over everything. But I do think that, uh, you know, if we're lucky, 
they'll be in it. But again, I just wanted to pose that question. What if they're actually not in the film? You know, what if all of this was just complete bull crap and they're not even in it? Because it could, it could happen. You know what I mean? We have no confirmation. So I'll leave the video at that. Um, the trailer looks effing awesome. I cannot wait to see it next month. Really, it's coming up pretty soon here. Uh, next, or er, actually today, the day I'm posting this on uh, uh, November 17th. That's basically a month because I believe it comes up December 17th. Again, I'm going to have the trailer link in the description down below if you want to go check that out. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and uh, subscribe if you're new. I will be reviewing Spider-Man No Way Home whenever it does come out, whenever I do see it, hopefully soon. Uh, probably not the 17th, but, you know, very close because it's going to be spoiler central. But, uh, yeah, and then regarding Toby and Andrew, I'm, you know, I'm assuming they're in it, but, uh, you know, we have no confirmation, and I just wanted to pose that question. What if they're not in it at all, and what if this is all for nothing? You know what I mean? Are you going to freak out, or are you going to be like, yeah, you know, whatever, it was a good movie, or, you know, because I have a feeling the Internet's going to throw a fit. But anyway, uh, I can't wait to see where this movie goes. The MCU is in a really good spot. I have a few problems with Eternals and a few other movies, but I think that, generally speaking, the MCU is pretty freaking cool, and I can't wait to see where they go. Again, Spider-Man No Way Home looks insane. I love Homecoming, and I love Far From Home, so I can't wait to see what they do with No Way Home. Again, hopefully they're in it, but if not, you know, I think the Internet just kind of has to uh, adapt and just go, look, you know, this was a rumor, this was a leak, nothing was ever confirmed, uh, and I think we got ahead of ourselves, much like the sequels, you know, people had these crazy-ass expectations, and when it didn't happen, instead of going, oh, Snoke's that, or, oh, Raise a Palpatine? Oh, that was pretty cool, you know, I mean, whatever, it's cool, you know. But instead, they're like, oh, my God, it sucks, you know what I mean? So they, they freak out online, so it's it's a whole thing. The Internet's crazy, you guys know that, I know that, but still, uh, you know, it looks good, hopefully they're in it, but we can't wait to see what happens again. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think down below about No Way Home. What is your favorite part of that trailer? Mine would probably have to be the villains. I think seeing all those awesome villains, you know, from the uh, Sam Raimi and the Mark Webb films are really cool, and I can't wait to see where all this goes. Again, uh, it looks insane, and I cannot wait to see it in theaters. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.